Okay, so now we're gonna go inside 8245 Meeks Bay Ave. Here's a look at it from the front porch. And there's a sense of Westlake Boulevard road noise. Here comes a truck, perfect. So a big diesel pickup. So that's that. It's not terrible. Uh, and it's that's off the side of the house where you're not going to spend most of your time. You can be down by the lake or inside the house, obviously. I've got a huge house going in next door. My friend Matt at Hassel Construction, he's building this one. And as you can see, uh, this really cool um, bark siding on this house is something we see in much older homes. Not surprised to see it on a late 80s build in Meeks Bay because this Meeks Bay attracts people who love the old Tahoe lifestyle. So I hope you could hear that with that saw going. Anyway, here's the entry. A lot of pine in here, a lot of knotty pine, but it's clean, it's got a beachy feel to it. I'm gonna try to hit every little spot here. So you've got a nice little closet there in the entryway, and then some built-ins. There's a little built-in uh, area here. Uh, starting in the bathroom, a stall shower, decent sized bathroom. And then this is two bedrooms total in this in this home. Here's one of them with a nice bay window. This is looking back toward the driveway. Good size closet. Floors are also this vertical grain pine, I would guess. And so now the kitchen, everything's really clean in here. It's got a really nice feel. If two million bucks is within your budget and you're thinking lakefront, this is going to be one of the best options this whole year. So here's the view. So you're looking through and over this neighbor here, old Tahoe house. And then you've got some more neighbors down this way. It's a really, honestly, it's a classic Meeks Bay feel. So a little dining area with a ton of bench seating. Got champagne all ready for us here. I counted about nine or 10 steps to get into the home from the driveway. And then here's your main lake view. So the neighbor, I, I assume there was nothing there. And so a, a little part of the filtered view has been taken up by the neighbor's new home. But your main shot is right here. And it's very nice. This is another lake view here. By the way, it looks like the seal on this window is broken. You can see that um, effect on the glass there. But anyways, you, you know you're near the lake. You're looking down under the deck railings and you're seeing water, which is very cool. And I'll walk down that path in a second here to show you uh, what's down by the water. Currently they have one buoy and a lakeside deck. So then upstairs where we'll head next, there is a loft area with sleeping and a nice sized bedroom and a bath. Let's see more of these built-ins. This is a really cozy place. It reminds me of, it's got kind of a European flavor to it, honestly. So a little day bed type deal here, the telescope, some dustables, as my mom says. Interesting ceiling uh, design here. House has a cool feel. Driveway to the neighbors through the window there. And here's this nook, the queen size bed looks like. Oops, sorry about that. Bathroom. Storage, shower, and toilet. So we'll go to the bedroom here. As mentioned, this really is a large bedroom, especially for the price here. I would put the bed not under that window, but against this back wall to the right and see if that window couldn't grow a little bit. I don't know if it can because you got a roof line out there, but. I assume they put in maximum windows, but you never know. Always worth checking.
So now, deck. And the way that they designed this house here, there's, I don't see any outdoor living facing you, which is nice. And then this neighbor's gonna be out beyond that way. Um, you know, at least how they're oriented in the summer. So that's all good stuff. So I think you'd have a fairly private little enclave right here, or alcove, excuse me. Boulders, classic Meeks Bay. This footpath reminds me of a place my family has back in Maine. Cool, loved it as a kid. So there's the little lakeside deck to visit this property. And I think I mentioned they have one buoy in the water now. It sounds like there's a possibility of getting a second buoy that they've actually got permitting for it. It's a little lover's, lover's rest bench. It's a nice size deck down here. Now we'll look at the neighbors. Pretty big house. That's Sugar Pine Point down there. Okay, so busy little area down here on the water. I'm sure it's pretty lively in the summer. That's the neighbor's pier and their lakeside deck. You got a nice shot of Heavenly there, beautiful boathouse. And then this is the lakeside deck that goes with this property. I believe it's about 40 feet wide here down toward the water. And then that's the neighboring one that goes with the brand new house. So this goes with the subject property for 2 million. This is a nice size, this is legit. Steps down into the water there. We'll dab it here for a rowboat. I'm not sure which buoy goes with this property, but I can find that out, of course. And then you can see lots of piers. Lots of piers in Old Meeks Bay. Great spot. Beautiful on any given day, including this cloudy steel gray day. I love this kind of weather. And then let's give you a look back at the house here. I'm gonna be careful how I walk out here, but here's this. Tahoe. And then let's point back at the house. I'll show you what that looks like. Old storage locker there. Subject property right there. Neighbor. Neighbors. And then the brand new one. Okay. So that is 8245 Meeks Bay Ave. Feel free to reach out to see this in person or for any more questions. Thanks so much for visiting the Big Blue Lake.